insensitive and we made a mistake. And this is what they told uh, CNN. Um, now, you see it, Sam, man. What are your thoughts, you know, seeing this, you know, um, on the tailwind of Gucci, you know, um, having to apologize for the blackface with power that they put out. Now, Burberry, wants another company now doing the same thing. What do you think about this? I'll tell you what, I'm not. I'm not outraged. I'm not outraged. And this is why <laughs> we got to chill and stop being outraged. <sighs> They're fucking with man, us. Man. They're fucking with us. And let's stop playing. They're fucking with us. They want us to get outraged because they must have seen the spike in sale in Gucci. And they got these prominent black athletes going ahead and protesting Gucci. But then you got other ones out here saying we're going to wear our shit all the while Gucci's winning. Burberry must have saw this and said, fuck it, let's do something too. And then let's apologize. And then let's make sure that we get people across the end to fight for us so we can get the T.I.s and the D.L. Hughleys to go stay. No, boycott oh, them. Man. And then we got the other wow. ones, like the other ones dancing Damn around saying, you. let's wear this, let's yeah. do this. And all the while, we still got to just take care of the ones that really care about us, the independent, mm -hmm. the, the black, the, own, the people that really own something in, in fine fashion apparel. Look for these people to really invest because all while we're hooping and hollering, just to win it. Well, I'm not going to say we're hooping and hollering. I mean, you know, um, T.I., he just left a little message. I'm sure. You know, on social media. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we need to really follow this up with some action because, again, I think this is flagrant. This is blatant. Mm -hmm. They did this, you know. Um, and the fact that they have the audacity to even think that they could do this and capitalize off something like this, you know, to me is ultimate disrespect. It is, but it, they're going to. Yeah, but still, it's, it's going to come a time, and I hope it's in the future where something like this happens. And they get so hit so hard, so hard by us or whoever the demographic is, you know, um, but that stops actually supporting these companies. Now, a lot of people will say a lot of us don't really, you know, um, support these companies, whatever the statistics are. You know, a lot of uh, people out there saying a lot of things. But this right here, once again, is just another example of why we need our own independent, you know, even clothing manufacturers to do our own thing. We just shouldn't be going to these guys because they keep showing us once again. We they talked about care. Gucci mm -hmm. year after year. They don't give a damn because mm -hmm. they know they're going to have people like Floyd Mayweather, like other people out there who are going to be the buffer, who are going to defend, you know, their own people being humiliated. Imagine, again, I always got to say, if they did this to somebody from China, somebody Jewish, you know, somebody from Vietnam, somebody from any other country, you know, that has a backing, Russia, something like that. Imagine the out the outrage. Imagine, you know, what would happen. Black people are the only people who are allowed to be disrespected like this. And then we'll have our own people that's going to step up, you know what I mean, uh, um, and feed fuel to that fire and to actually defend us being disrespected. And I, sad. it's very sad. And we could talk on Floyd and we will talk on Floyd, but I'm just tired of seeing what's the wave and what's popular. Obviously, they don't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck before the noose. They didn't give a fuck before the, 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 a noose, though, the, Sam the picture, the black face. A noose, Sam Man. It's we, ridiculous. It, 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 that's, it's that's, crazy. that's a whole nother, like a noose. Like this is, this is like, I get, I don't want to say it, but it's just like any, any, any symbol of oppression from somebody, you put it out there as a fashion statement. Mm-hmm. That right there is crazy, man. We got we have ancestors and whatnot that have hung, you know what I mean? People that have died a lot. We talked about the reparation movement. We'll mm -hmm. get to that. You know what I mean? Um, to be disrespected like this from, from a major company is totally insane, man. So you okay, so do you justify the people on there that jump on social media? And just are so outraged on gotta social media. Something, you what gotta you say something, but to. then what, where does the conversation end? Are we just gonna stop on social media? Or no, it like, doesn't. But when you look at you know um your your, your uh, um prominent like civil rights leaders or people who led different things, you know movements, no matter what race, they started by talking and saying something and getting the people. Hopefully, the people move. Will they? Probably not. This but is, they need to move. This is what I would like to see a Ti or DL or whoever no, else that's yeah. gonna be so quick. To throw outrage toward Burberry while spewing Burberry's name. Go throw a designer on that's out there in Atlanta or wherever you're at that's grinding and rising. Go throw their fucking shirt on. Yeah. And while Burberry's doing the nonsense or while the headlines are staring at, you're promoting this. And you're telling people right now, yo, y'all need to go buy right there. Here's the, the website. Here's this. And change a motherfucker's life. And do it in another direction. As opposed to going ahead and, and it seemingly, and I'm sorry because I'm a fan of T.I., but I just got to call it what the fuck it is, faking it and riding away because it's popular. 
Right. It's all he's always front line when it comes to Instagram. And I'm not questioning the man's eye. if he was walking when he came to Ferguson, if he was out there walking when he's seen injustices and things like that. I'm not I'm not I'm not I applaud that shit. Right. But when it's coming to the social media and it's just when it comes to certain things, it seems like he's just right there front front center. Well, let's talk about this. Man, run that Floyd, wave. Floyd Mayweather, you know, posted up a picture and he turned off the comment section, but of he posted he this all Gucci. Head to toe, you see right there in the picture. He said, "Put born, you know, a leader." And um, what do what do what do you say to people like this though? Like, okay, we know, you know, about you know them not, you know, they disrespect us, they don't care. But what do you say about black men who jump up almost at, to put himself in the position of a clown? You know what I mean? To say, I'm still gonna go do it. Forget, you know what I mean? I'm still, I'm, a, I'm gonna wear Gucci head to toe. Forget y'all moving. Forget what y'all saying. How do you feel about that, though, Sam? This is this is what I feel about Floyd. No one's to support any of his fights anymore. No one's to support mm -hmm. any of that rhetoric. You can sit there and run your mouth and say what you say about Gucci because you're mad at T.I. or whatever, and then follow it up with, of course, there's racism in there. But when you take it the step further to continuously mock, you're mocking now. Yeah, yeah. You're mocking, you're mocking at what they did. You're mocking black people being upset about it. You're, you're mocking, you're just mocking the whole conversation. There is a conversation that needed to be had about it when it came to Gucci. And now you see everyone else following the wave and it's just fake outrage. And this is where my, my frustration comes in, where I'm saying now we need to start promoting ours as opposed to sitting there and running our mouth about theirs. What? But right. Gucci started the whole thing. So what, could you imagine, though, like so, something, you know, um, we talk about the Holocaust being taught, you know, in school, mm -hmm. you know, and the Jews being oppressed and whatnot. Could you imagine, you know, somebody, you know, um, just putting anything derogatory out, you know, um, about Jewish people and all of a sudden you see, you know, another Jewish person that steps up and, and says, nah, man, still keep doing it to him. Nah, nah, keep doing it to him. Put that little thing around their neck that symbolizes your death. You know what I mean? That symbol, you know, they disrespected you showing blackface, something that you guys, you know what I mean? were very sensitive about. I'm still going to wear it. I'm mad. You don't see that happening with nobody else. You don't see no other races of people doing that. There's something wrong with that. This dude, and I, can, I agree with you. We need, we really don't need to support cats like this at all. You know what I mean? I understand the rah-rah stuff about guys jumping up and wanting to get in the spotlight. I think there's a few of them out there that want to just get in the spotlight because this is their type of thing to jump on. We know their names. But some people actually genuinely care, and they genuinely want to see some change. Anytime somebody jumps up, like this, this is tre it's what you call treason. Treason at his at his at his highest, you know, what I mean, level. And when you look at the sport of boxing, and in very in particular the sport of boxing, because of the names and just the power and prestige that comes from boxing, even though it might have lost its luster because of the heavyweight division, even though that's coming back now, Floyd ran a sport as a black man where mm -hmm. you've seen some very prominent black men in the sport of boxing who were in, in our history are ingrained throughout black history, in particular, obviously Muhammad Ali. Good point. And when you think about what he did when he won being the youngest heavyweight champion in the world as Cassius Clay and changing his name into Muhammad Ali, converting to the Nation of Islam, one of the most hated, not nah, fuck that, the most hated right, organization right. in all the world at that time as the heavyweight champion. And then them telling him he's not going or he's telling them that he's not going to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. He'd rather go to jail. He'd rather receive death, not only to drop the heavyweight championship, to, to see what he did for his people and to still promote all people. Mm -hmm. it, it was an amazing thing. It was very powerful as a black child to even look up a man by the name of Muhammad Ali and learn what he really did. Right. Floyd could have did the same shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe not to the de degree of, of, of saying, no, he's not going to go to Vietnam or no, he's not going to do this. But and, and I'm not telling what that man to do with his money, but when you got a city of Michigan, which yeah, is 97 yeah. million, 90 some odd million dollars away from having clean water. And you have that on your fucking wrist and you could change their lives quietly mm -hmm. and you don't. And then you still do something like this and you want some people to support your fucking hundred dollars a fight. And people had no problem doing that because they wanted to see you because that's the mantle you held. Mm -hmm. Man, you fucked up. Then you hear the man. stories, you know, then you now ask you about T.I.'s uh, this song after this. Then you hear the stories about guys going back, guys getting robbed guys getting shot is because they shit on the people that you know um helped them get to where they were going to be at whatever it be the people in lance and i think he's from you know what i mean uh um, grand rapids I think. oh sorry grand grand yeah. rapids excuse me but now you're shitting on 
the brothers and sisters, you know what I mean, who legitimately have a movement and legitimately, you know, um, saying, look, we don't want to be treated like this no more. We're going to speak out and say something. You're just totally just shitting on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather. So it's like, yeah, you don't got to be Muhammad Ali, but, you know, um, you can you can you can at least do something to help. If not, shut the hell up. Shut you know what I mean? Because 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 it's going to come a time where somebody's going to pull your card. You didn't have to put that. that picture out. Right. And then you turn off the right. comments. Why you turn off the comments? Right. And all you laced out and all that shit. Right. And then you turn off the comments, you shitting on people. There's no man. justification, you know, for now. I heard a lot of people saying a lot of different things. And um, but I want to ask you about this though before I go there. Hmm. What do you think about TI's, you know, um this song? Because we heard it once, but I heard it a few times after that. Um, what do you think about some of the points that TI hit on in his this song? I li I like the song, but I can't lie. This is what bothers me about the song. TI put it on streaming services to get paid from it. So in all actuality, What's wrong with that. Well, he's getting paid from Gucci too. Then you're getting paid from the ah, rhetoric. Woo! You're getting It'll... paid from the rhetoric, and this is why Ti <sighs> I gotta kind of look at it like, well, damn, you getting paid off the nonsense too? Because if you just if you really gave a fuck about the situation and you really wanted to come at him, just put it out free. Yeah, but still, he's he's, get, he's getting paid, you know. But you know, just like all the outlets that's reporting it, they're going to get paid off the story. You know, so so it. so he deserved to get paid. You, I mean, it's it, I'm I'm saying it's like he's not getting the pay. He's getting paid from the controversy. It's not like Gucci's cutting him a check. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but the narrative is. I mean, I so, think, but it, he, I he, think that's, that's 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 to give me. I think it was a more of a personal attack as opposed. And even though he made great points because he's a hell of a rapper, yeah, and he should be able to make hell of hell of points, and he's did. He did his thing on there. Right. I think it was geared more toward Floyd individually, yeah, as opposed to the movement because he still went and made money from the shit, right. Put right. it out for free, Chad. You don't need that couple of dollars. Right. And I will say, you know, um, that now there's a movement called the ADOS, you know, which is a reparation, mm -hmm. you know, movement, you know, uh, which I definitely, you know, um, do support, you know, um, reparations for the people, you know, of this country that went through the atrocities, you know, um, of, of the transatlantic slave trade, you know yeah. what I mean? And beyond, you know, even, you know, up to today, you know, um, just because we believe in equality. You know, when you look at, um, you know, other races of people who have got full reparations and things that they got, um, you would have to um, put that discussion on the table. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, it, it's just sad to see, you know, um, situations like this, you know, with uh, people, you know, when people are at least trying to stand up and do something, people kind of throwing a, a monkey wrench in it, man. It's sad because you don't see other people, you know, um, doing this. Even like the, the people that uh, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather may fight, he may fight. Somebody like Pacquiao, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He's from the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they got unity. They got Hell pride over there. Yeah. They're not going to go. They're not. If, if that was the Philip, if somebody disrespected the Filipinos or something, they're not going to go against their own people like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, he's a sucker. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather is a sucker. And the money don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? The money don't mean shit at the end of the day. The dude's a sucker, man. Muhammad Ali didn't have all that money, but he made a big of an impact. And imagine, a big of a imagine if he did. Man. Yeah, definitely. Great right. point, that man. is what it is, man. Indeed. Definitely, man. But you tuned into the Unset the Truth podcast with your brother Old God and Sandman going in today on this Tuesday. That's right, Tuesday afternoon. We're going to be going live on Thursday night on the Uncensored Truth podcast channel at 7 p.m. Make sure you check us out there. Also, 8 p.m. on Hip Hop News Uncensored on Friday night. So if you like us uh, to listen to us live, make sure that you uh, check us out there. But yes, yeah, Sandman, I don't even want to talk about the. Uh, the Steve Harvey, you know.